Hi, I'm Paula Bernier, Executive Editor at TMC. I'm here at IT Expo Miami, and I'm speaking with uh, Brian Vandergrift. He's EVP of Sales and Innovation at Venue. Welcome. Thank you. Can you tell us a bit about Venue? What is the company selling to whom? Yeah, so uh, we're a business-to-business -business service provider. Uh, we do both data center and cloud solutions. I've uh, been doing that for a long time. We got into the data center business in the uh, uh, really before 2000, so 1999, we opened our first data center. So we've been doing a lot of data center services, and um, actually we were doing things called, uh, that people would call cloud today, but we were doing those back in the um, early 2000s. So it's been a very natural progression for us to move into that cloud space, uh, but still staying true to our roots and being an uh, infrastructure provider and a data center hosting partner for people. Great. And uh, so you have some cloud offerings. Uh, can you talk a bit about uh, cloud adoption? Yeah, so we're seeing just um, a lot of uh, embracing of the cloud here lately, uh, where people are really, um, in some cases, jumping with both feet into the cloud and kind of getting out of that, um, that perpetual cycle of buying infrastructure and maintaining it themselves. We're seeing a lot of people saying, you know what, I'm going to turn to a trusted cloud provider to provide my infrastructure, uh, have it being a safe, secure place, and... Um, and just really focus on my business processes, my applications that run my business. We really let our customers focus on what they do as a business and not worry about running infrastructure and maintaining facilities and um, chasing fires all the time. They really can go be proactive and work on the things that make their business money. Right, but not everybody is ready to jump into cloud with both right. feet. So yep. what do you suggest for those kind of companies? So what we really try to do is be very consultative in the process and uh, take a look at you know, what their true total cost of ownership would be of wherever they are in their life cycle for the infrastructures and technologies that they've already invested in. For example, if they've just made a uh, pretty significant investment into a SAN environment, um, it might not be the right time to jump with both feet <coughs> excuse me, into the cloud. It may be time to leverage different pieces of that puzzle, maybe a cloud backup provider or moving into a data center with the infrastructure they've purchased with the eye towards the future that as they, as they grow and need to replace aging infrastructure, that they can start leveraging e either a hybrid or a public cloud model so that they don't have to just stay in that perpetual cycle of buying infrastructure. So we really try to just meet people at the place that they're at and leverage things that they've already invested in, but also fill those gaps of places where they maybe either are short on a capital budget, but need to make some advances in technology and just don't quite have those dollars to spend in a one-time purchase, but would have some operating expenses to do that over time. Great, well thanks so much, Brian. Great yeah. talking to you. No problem. And uh, thanks, this is again Paulo Bernier at IT Expo in Miami. We look forward to seeing you all at IT Expo in uh, Las Vegas in August.